here. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to say thank you so much for visiting. I have 18 subscribers now and I'm really excited because I started out with zero. And it was pretty for zero for a long time. Anyway, okay, so today we're going to do a new segment called Titles with Teresa. And I really like the letter T. So that's why everything kind of starts with a T. And titles are like books. And, um, yeah. Okay, so titles with Teresa. I love books. Um, I love to read. I love reading on the Kindle. I love reading in the car if I take Bonine. Um, I love reading in my bed, reading on the couch, reading in front of the fire. I love reading like all these places. And true story, um, I used to hate reading. Like, I would cry every time I'd have to read because I'm dyslexic and it makes it hard to read. Um, but then I read the book Soul Surfer. I think it was like sophomore year of high school or something. Freshman year? I don't remember. But one of those years and Soul Surfer, the one by Bethany Hamilton where she gets her arm bit off by the shark. But it's not just... But it's not just about her getting her arm bit off, it's the power and the hope and the strength that she finds through God, through that whole thing. And it's an amazing book. I would totally recommend it. It's short, it's a kid's book pretty much. But that was the book that got me back into reading. And now I love to read. That's the story. Okay, so, just a little short fashion. I'm wearing a Old Navy shirt, and then I'm wearing, Wearing for lips, I'm wearing the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie, and it kind of burns a little bit, but that's just because of the mint taste, because I don't really like mint. But um, I really like it. It's very sticky and it stays on really well. So that's that. Okay, so time for titles with Teresa. So today we're going to talk about this book called Loving My Actual Life. No, that's not a typo. Actual life means to love a life that you're not dreaming of or a life that you made up yourself, but an actual life that's your actual life. And it's called Loving My Actual Life, an experiment in loving what's right in front of me. And it's by Alexandra K. Kendall. K. Kendall. And I follow her on Instagram now and... Um, She's a really sweet lady. She's a mom. She has like five kids and they're all like under 14 pretty much. Um, and so this book is a really, really great book. I just, every chapter I read, every page I read, it was just so inspiring and um, gave me a lot of strength. I've been struggling with being sick lately, having vertigo and dealing with sicknesses. And like it's not easy, but like to have to be reading this book and hear about her day to day struggles and how like she can find positive energy and find God in it is really cool. Um, this book made me really happy and it has a cute cover. I think that's one of the reasons I saw it in the Christian bookstore. I was like, wow, this is really cute. Like it kind of like a DIY almost lamp thing. Like light thing and it totally like made me think of that and it's just super great okay so it is there are nine chapters and every time so each month she separates an experiment so month one she does something and then sees how it works out and then writes about it each day and then at the end, she goes, what I learned and what I, what I should work on and what you can learn from it. So month one was quiet. And it was pretty much just be in the quiet. Like when there's a silence, don't get on your phone and don't be like have a loud mind thing. Just sit in the quiet and pray or like do whatever. Like it was just super, super great. Um, month two was first things first. So she said in the mornings, wake up earlier than her kids. I don't have any kids, but wake up earlier than anything and like get your Bible study done, clean up the house a little bit, start 
start making breakfast, like just do little things that will have you, because I don't know if you know this, but if your day in the morning is set up and like done, 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 your day in the evening will go smooth and your day at night will go smooth. So if you can start in a fresh start and be very like adamant, like I'm going to wake up at 7.30, I'm going to get this done until 8.30, I'm going to get ready at night, like, and then go to work at 11, like whatever it is, that's my schedule. But like, if you can do that, that was like fantastic. Um, and then month three was my peeps, which was dates. And it was pretty much like, for her it was her husband, but also like with friends, like make time for that coffee date. Make time for that spontaneous shopping trip. Like make those times. I have a lot of time, so I could totally do that. And it was just so cool to see all these different experiments. And I'm actually trying a bunch of these. And um, it's really cool to see how it plays out. Um, month four was being kind to my body and it was health. So I loved, there's this one part she said in the book and she said that being healthy and working out is not to make yourself skinny or to make your body look better or have more muscle or whatever. It's not about that. It's the fact that we're put on this earth to spread the good news. We're spread, we're told to spread, we're called to spread the word of God. And if you're not able to function or you're sick because you're eating too much fast food or like whatever it is, like, or you're not, you're not in the right shape, like you're not the best you can be to be able to mentor these students like I do or to go and talk to those people far off in a far off land or whatever. Like you're not in the right shape and you're not in the right performance. So it's not about the actual like skinniness. It's the fact that like you want your body to be in a great shape for Jesus. So he can let us be his vessel and let us share more good news in a way that people are going to be like, wow, she takes care of herself. She's, you know, she cares about, she really cares about this. This must be real. Um, that was my favorite chapter because I don't like working out. I don't know. I like working out, but I don't like working out. A lot, a lot of times I can't get in the habit. Like, I can go for a walk and stuff, but then it's like, okay, then what? Or I'm, like, really tired afterwards and, like, I haven't been feeling good, so it's been harder and I haven't worked out in a bunch of months. And so, like, it was just really interesting to hear that it's not because you're trying to get skinny or you're trying to lose weight. It's because God calls us to be in shape. <laughs> We're God's temple. Um, okay, and then unleashing the wild. So that was about adventure, and I'm not very adventurous, but I can find little things for adventure, so um, I've definitely started doing that. Like, these videos, this is pretty adventurous for me, and I love it. So that was a really awesome chapter. Um, Pushing through the piles. This was so cool. Okay, it was like, take five minutes of your day, every day, to pick up something in your house. So you walk around, and you go into the living room, and you put, set a timer, and then you walk around your house, and only for five minutes you pick up stuff. And then, when you go into that room the next time, you're like, oh look, my room looks so nice. Like, my, my grandma room right now. Oh, my room looks so nice. Like, and I'm actually like, I'm total neat freak. So like I need everything to be like spit spot and clean, like it just has to be. So like for that it was like, oh that's interesting, but she had kids and she had stuff everywhere, so it was really different, but it was really cool. Um, love is in the details, that was about creativity and really just being yourself and for her it was writing. For me it would be um, singing, vlogging, um, art, just doing crafts and stuff. Uh, three times a day was meals, and it was just for her to plan the meals in a sequence so that, like, they're ready for breakfast, and after church they can go home and they can have lunch, and, like, stuff's planned, and it's not so stressed. This book actually looked really good um, for my mom, because I was like, she's a mom, she'd relate, but I really just liked it because I'm a really maternal person, so I like hearing about all this, like, stuff with families. I don't know, it's cool. And I made to do great things. It was about passions, it was about, like, your life and how like just how you can do anything like with God anything is possible he is the way the truth and the life 
And for you to be able to say, hey, God's on my side, God's my strength, I can go to China and I can um, talk to people there and share the word, word of God. I can go here, I can do this, I can be in my own town and I can go talk to those for me. I can go to that little middle schooler who's so scared in the corner and they're just huddling and they're just acting like they're not even there and you go up to them and you're like, hey, how are you? And they're just like, um, good. And you're like, oh good, what did you do today? And they're like, oh, um, I had school. And I'm like, oh, how was school? And they're like, oh, well, um, it was fine. That's always their answer, fine. But it's just like so cool to like start that conversation and really be able to like do that through God. Um, and then the awesomest part, if that's even a word, was at the end of the book. It said, ideas to love your actual life. Ten things to try when you're designing your own experiment. And then it had pages, and you can see that. It says quiet, mornings, dates, health, adventure, home organization, creativity, meals, and passions. But yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I would recommend it for someone who is maternal or likes reading a book about a family. Um, I would recommend it for probably 15 and up because you wouldn't relate to it if you were younger. And oh, also I have this cute little bookmark right here. It's a um, watermelon, excuse my nails, and um, it smells like a watermelon, so it's a scented bookmark. It's really adorable. And it's not that big of a book. It is 216 pages. So I would recommend it. Um, I hope you hear what I was saying and you like my video and if you could please subscribe and thumbs up um, that would be great. I love getting more friends on here and um, I really enjoy this and I really love talking about books and I think I'm going to do it again. Alright, thanks guys. Bye!